All right, um, this is a tutorial on how to play the riff in Haxel Princess, because I made a tutorial on how to play this a while back. Um, and I asked if you guys wanted the riffs, and a couple of people said they do want to have to learn the riffs. So, I'm gonna teach them for you. Um, so, they're not too hard in my opinion, but although it is easier if you play with an ele uh, electric guitar as opposed to an acoustic guitar, uh, if you're more comfortable with an acoustic, by all means, go ahead. Um, but, uh, at least with my uh, electric guitar, the strings are a lot bendier, and the they're not very, they're very, very close to the uh, fretboard, unlike my acoustic, who has harder to press down strings, and it's pretty high off the fretboard compared to this. Um, but yeah, whatever you want to do, it just would be easier if you did it on electric. But if you don't have an electric, or you uh, prefer acoustic, uh, go for it. It'll play on both song on both uh, guitars. So I'm going to play through both the riffs real quick. up there a little bit but you get the point um so for the first one uh it sounds hard but it's it's really not that bad uh so we're gonna start off on the sixth fret pour your finger onto the um high e the low e sixth fret hit it four times and then move your pointer finger up to the one right below it so you're still on the sixth fret and we're gonna do something like this. So what I just did, you hit it, and you hammer on one below each. So you're gonna hammer on your ring finger, uh, your middle finger onto the, so on the sixth, you're gonna hammer on to the seventh. And then after you hammer on to the seventh, you're gonna hammer on your ring finger onto the eighth. So it sounds like this. So then after you hit that last note, you're gonna put your pointer finger onto third down from the top, uh, sixth string, uh, sixth fret down from the top, uh, sixth fret, third string down from the top. So. And then after you play that, you're gonna put your, you're gonna go back to this. So we're on the eighth, second string down from the top. That wasn't the right one. We hit that, and then... After you hit this one, you're gonna move your pinky finger to the big E. And play it three times. After you play it three times, you're gonna go back up to your pointer finger on the six. You play it once. And then after that, move it down, move your pointing finger down to the sixth fret, second string down from the top. So you hit it. Pointing ring, uh, middle finger is gonna play the one right below it. Move your pointing uh, point finger back. And then when you're done playing that, you're gonna hit the five with your pointer. If you want, you could also do like hammer on and pull off for this part. Whatever you want to do. All right, so that's the first riff. Uh, second riff. Let me move this to get closer shot of the top of the fretboard because it's all up here. Uh, this one I think is a little bit more tricky than the one I just showed you, but there's no hammer ons and pull offs on this one, so if you aren't comfortable with hammer ons. Um, this one is maybe for you. I don't know. You're gonna start off on. 
this string, which right now we are at fourth down from the top, and we're gonna be on the third fret with your ring finger. And you hit it three times. And then when you hit it three times, you're gonna stay on the same string, but put your pointer finger onto the one. So you hit, do that choice. And then when you do when you do it twice, you're gonna hit the uh, ring finger again once. And then when you finish that, you're gonna go up to the fifth string down from the top on the first fret. And then do fifth down from the top, middle finger onto the second fret. And then. When you hit that once, you're gonna go to the first fret again, except we're gonna be on the very last string, the sixth string. And then go back to where you just were with your middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string. And then pointer on the fifth string on the first fret. I'll play that. So that's the first part, second part of that. You're gonna go all the way down to the second down from the top. Um, same pattern with the beginning part. So you do it like that. All on the second, str uh, second string. And then this one's a little bit different. So instead of going straight to the, putting your one on the next uh, fret, uh, you're gonna hit it open. So you're gonna hit the third down from the top open. And then when you hit it once, uh, put your pointer finger onto that same string on the first fret. And then go to the fourth down from the top and put your middle finger there onto the first fret. And then go back down to where your pointer finger is. And then lift it up. Go back to this one. I messed it up, but you, you know what you're supposed to do. You play that, and then after that, we are on the last part. So we're gonna go on the third down from the top. Same thing, ring finger on the third fret, except we're third string down from the top. Same exact pattern for the beginning part. And then you're gonna to want to put your pointer finger onto the fourth down from the top, first fret. And then after that, go all the way down to second down from the top, third fret, and you're gonna bend it. So this is how it sounds. All right, so this is how it sounds all together. Those are the riffs for Haxel Princess. Um, leave any questions down below. Uh, comment any suggestions for future tutorials you'd like to see. And if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to subscribe. All right, thank you, bye.